Hi, my name is Mark Grice. I'm in the technical department here at Allard, and today I'll be running through the V7E with you. So I'll give you a quick tour of the board of the V7E. You've got a digital display there, which at the minute it's showing the it's on its bottom limit. You've got up, a down, and a stop button, so you can manually operate the door. It'll also allow you through the parameters, which I'll show you later. You've got various stop circuits on the board. You've got an open, a close, and a go function for external push buttons. You've got mechanical limit connections. You've got an 8K2 ohm resistive safety edge connection, optical safety edge connection, your encoder connection, your mains connection, and your motor connections. So I'll give you a quick run through on how to get into the settings of this panel. So within the panel you have four dip switches. So to get into the parameters, if you flick on dip switch one, it will give you the parameters there. So to scroll through the parameters, you can go up and down with the buttons. To get into the parameters, if you press the middle stop, that will then go to the right hand side to enable the change of the parameters. To come out of it and store it, you press the middle stop again. So, for example, if I go down to parameter 01, that is telling you how the door is running. So 03 is for impulse up and impulse down operation. So if you didn't have any safety features on the door and you just wanted dead man, press the middle stop, the right hand side display will flash. If I then change it to 02, that will make it impulse up dead man down. If I change it to 01, that will make it dead man both ways. So you can scroll through and do any changes up and down and then the right hand side will then allow it to change the parameter. Press the middle stop to store and then dip switch one off will allow you to come out. So to set the bottom limit, if you then scroll up to parameter 14, it shows your bottom limit there. Press your stop, it's saying you want to set your limit. Yes, press the stop once more, it will say run. So you now run it down to where you want to set your bottom limit. Again, it's always in dead man operation. So where you've got it to where you want it, again, you just literally press your stop to confirm. It says my bottom limit is now set and then it goes back to parameter 14. Again, if you want to scroll through any more of the parameters, you can do. If not, just flick dip switch one off to come out and now it's showing on its bottom limit. So usually on a car park application, it's fully automatic up and down with usually a photocell and optical safety edge. So if you want the door to go up, time out and close, if you go back into the parameters by turning dip switch one on, you can scroll through the parameters again. So if you go up to parameter 32, press the stop once, you can then store in whatever time you want for the auto close. So for example, if you wanted 20 seconds, Take it up to 20, press the stop to confirm so it goes back to the left hand side and then turn dip switch one off again. So with the V7E on the car park applications there is usually a photo cell and a safety edge connection as minimum. So 19, 20, 21 and 22 are for your forward cell connections. So 19 is your negative, 20 is your positive, 21 and 22 is your normally closed contact. You've got your optical edge connections here. You've got the brown, the green, the white, which is 25, 26 and 27. Once you've got them connected, again, you have to turn them on in the parameters. So if I flick dip switch one on, so first of all, parameter 21, scrolling up 
will select whatever safety edge you've got. So again, to get into the parameters, you press the middle stop once, it goes to the right hand side. So O3 is for an optical edge. If I went down to O2, it's for a resistive edge. So because I've now selected O2, it's showing an error because it's not seeing the resistive edge or O1 for a pneumatic edge. So if I scroll back to O3 for an optical edge, press my stop to confirm, it goes back to the parameter. So if I go up to parameter 31, which is your photocell, press your middle stop to confirm, and then you can scroll up or down. O2 is for your photocell 2. There is a photocell 1 connection there if, you, if it's needed. So again, once you've got to what you've selected, press the middle stop once, goes back to the parameter, and then turn dip switch one off again. So I hope you found this video useful on the V7E. And like I say, if you're ever stuck on site, you can give us a ring on 0161 945 4561, and that's option three.